I was born and raised at Formal Christian College because my father was a professor of economics over here. He served here for 40 years. The place is so embedded in me. I know it so well that if somebody can take a picture of the campus, I can identify from at which place they took it. My father was an economics professor for all his life. So he has like millions of students all over Pakistan, whether it's a private sector or it's a public sector or local businesses which they have established. So whenever he goes anywhere, they meet him, oh, you are Professor Abdiya. We were your student in 1982. Or some will say, we were your student in 1991. And we had so much fun in your class, though you were strict teacher, but you were one of the best teachers we have. So listening to all these stories and watching him teaching all his life, this really motivated me to be a professor. When I was an undergraduate student, I started liking economics because it deals with both micro and mass operations of our society. It deals with the individual behavior and the collective behavior of our society. And the most important thing which I learned in economics was that it helps us to break the vicious circle of poverty by developing good economic theory and good economic models and due to which people can have a better standard of living. After completing my master's in economics, I worked in the development sector for some years. As much as I enjoyed working there, I realized that my true calling lay in teaching and research. For this reason, I went to Southern Illinois University to pursue my doctorate in economics on the Fulbright Scholarship. My Fulbright experience was undoubtedly life-changing. I grew both academically and socially. I presented my work at numerous conferences where I had a chance to meet the well-known economist of the time whom I had only heard of before. After completing my PhD, I returned back to Pakistan and I joined former Christian College as an assistant professor of economics. The reason I joined FC College is that this is my alma mater and I want to serve it back. Most of the students I teach at the university are studying economics for the first time. I'm always aware that a lot of concepts I teach might be easy for me to understand but difficult for my students, so I come to their level while teaching. And when they study economics, they come to realize that they are an economic agent of the society. They really comprehend that economics is involved in everything of their life, whether it is politics, finance, or even day-to-day -day things at their home. Everything evolves around economics. When I see that my students realize that they are an economic agent to the society, that is one of the most rewarding moments for me in the classroom, and I feel that I'm doing my job right. It is very important for me to continuously improve how I interact with my students. I also try to teach above and beyond what's written in the textbook. Most of the theories which you teach are so foreign, so it's hard for students to apply it to the Pakistan economy. So I urge them to find a relationship between economic concepts and their local applications. They need to question what is relevant to their society and what is not. This is the only way they can solve their country's economic challenges for the future. I believe that the profession of teaching is so important for today's Pakistan because teachers can enhance the critical thinking of students and they can also provide new research ideas which are going around the world. Through teaching I want to open the minds of my students and make them think. This will help me to bridge a gap between the knowledge they seek and the knowledge they obtain from me. My name is Suleiman Abdiya and my goal is to promote empowerment through education.